Hey y'all, it's Dylan. So, hey, this is another one of these uh, PMZ bump, 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 uh, teases uh, because we're trying to siphon money away from you and your family to our pockets. Um, and I don't think that that's a big ask. If you love us, uh, do it. But anyways, this should give you a little bit, a little taste of what PMZ is. It's uh, essentially a massive ego trip for one Patrick Hickey. He does a fantastic job guiding us through pop culture. We talk about the Spice Girls. We talk about traumatic experiences with Aaron and Nick Carter. And we just start to get into a brand new segment called wow isn't that interesting to hear the whole segment you're gonna have to go to patreon.com slash another podcast network and it may or may not have to do with the diabetes riddled late wilfred brimley anyways take a listen love you guys we'll be back next week with more below deck and bachelor Oh my god, I fucking hate that. Well, I guess Pat has to eat his words. Look at that display of talent. Ten million bucks. Yeah, hey Pat. Hey Pat, how does that crow taste? <laughs> uh hello and welcome to another brand spank new episode of the Patreon fan favorite property. That being another podcast network presents. PMZ, which stands for Patrick MZ. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. You know, seeing as this is the most popular show Did on you this do network, the bump bump bump? I what before the I start is the, wrong I'd with like you. to oh hear a little God. uh a little more enthusiasm promoting this show at the top, uh seeing how popular the show is, Dylan. Could I get a little more oomph in your step, if you don't mind, please? Ooh, 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 ooh. Here, here's my answer to that. Uh no. All right, so um, I'm going to give a preview of what's going to be on this show at PMZ because it's going to be epic. I'm going to be uh, debuting a new segment in the show called, Wow, That's Interesting. <laughs> I know the fans are going to love that. I'm also going to do Patty's Favorite Things. They're here to, for me to break down the scoops. They like my, my voice 90% of this podcast, not 50, yep. not 40. Not seventy. That that definitely. Uh, you you cite a lot. That's been said in the Facebook group. This is the most popular. Yeah. Or whatever. There have been no ninety percent figures. They like us jibbing and jabbing while, while you try to have a monologue. It's hilarious. It's hilarious dynamic. Well, let me get to it. Yep. All right. So my first scoop here. I'm very excited about this. All right. It's about the Spice Girls. I'm not sure if you guys were uh, fans. You were young men or young boys when they first debuted yeah, in 1996. I was a big Mel B fan. I was I was very big into Mel Scary B. Scary Spice. And, and yeah. I just I just really like agree with their overall philosophy because if you want to be my lover, you have to get with my friends. <laughs> I like yeah, that. Yeah, and also you do have to spice up your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. All right. So here's the scoop. Uh, and I actually think, as as a group, they actually embody all like how we should all be as as what like you shouldn't be one thing. You should be sporty spice. Hmm. You should be scary spice. You should be posh spice. You should be. The I other wonder. Two. I wonder what's happening in Patrick's head right now <laughs> when he's realizing that Nick is going to try to take a fifty one percent. Well, let me just show. say this: uh, this uh, is I, a I, very I, fun I, opportunity. <laughs> let me finish my thought. Hey, uh, fans of this show, go on over there in the comments section after you hear this episode and let Nick and Dylan, let them know what you think about them interrupting this host, this glorious host of this most popular uh, property on this network. All right. So Mel C revealed this week that the Spice Girls want to return to the U.S. for their 25th anniversary tour. And their only problem is they need to persuade Victoria Beckham, I'm sorry, Victoria Beckham to join them. Mel C has revealed that the Spice Girls uh, are, were planning on a tour this summer until the big C hit us. Uh, the band made up of Mel C, uh, Jerry, Mel B, Emma, uh, and then uh, Victoria Beckham. What was uh, She was Hottie Spice? What the hell is she? She was posh. Oh, sorry. That's posh. the one thing posh. I do know. Posh. That's right. Uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, they basically revealed uh, while they were doing some promotional stuff that they can't get Victoria to come out and go on tour. And uh, according to the mirror, the singer admitted uh, that she enjoyed being with the band, but it probably wasn't something that was going to happen. And now this got me to think, um, this is three times they've tried this. Okay. And the first time they tried it. So imagine when a band is at their, like their epic height, which I would say for them was probably 1998. 
Okay. And then all the little girls grow up a little bit. And then they're kind of over it and they move on to the boy band, you know, uh, whatever the boy bands are at the time. Um, so anyway, this happened in 2002, 2009. And now 2020 or 2020. It's like the third coming. Right. They actually started the tour in 2009 and they only did a handful of shows and no one was showing up. No one cares. So I have a theory. (laughs) Get this. Get this. No one's going to pay to see this 25th reunion. Uh, You know, because this is how it works. Um they could probably go to Vegas like Britney Spears did and they can get like a, a month or two there and, and a bunch of bachelorette parties will show up and buy tickets and of course the hotel will uh, flood the market with free tickets to this if you upgrade a room or something. And wise bachelor parties, uh, hunting ground. Oh, exactly, exactly. One of the things I've seen is that boy bands actually last past their expiration date. They b- move out of being boys, and then there's like a gestation period. Then they go back out on the road when they're in their 30s and 40s, uh, new uh, kids on the block, uh, backstreet yeah. boys. I'm sure In Sync gets back together. I bet they're playing the Rose Bowl. But they have, yeah, they mean, have the Spice Girl problem where it's really hard to uh, convince Justin to do it. He has to get right. some, paid significantly more paid more than the one whose name is literally the fat one. Oh, jo- uh, jo- uh, jo- Joey Fatone. Joey. Uh, I've seen New Kids on the Block, and I'm not afraid to admit this to the, our fans, two times in the last five years. It's just it's just a fun show. I, I actually, I like a lot of their music. I mean, Hang Tough. Um, you got uh, Hang Tough. They do a two-hour show. I don't even know what songs they're doing. <laughs> it's the audience is so excited. Uh, you just have yeah, to yeah. join in. You scream and you throw your panties on stage. It's a great. Let me tell you something. Uh, Backstreet, if they come out this summer, I'm going to go see Backstreet Boys too. Oh, Backstreet's back. Mm-hmm. Back, Backstreet's back. All right. Yeah, you know, I um, I'll never see a Backstreet Boys show uh, ever um, because I used to be a big fan of them. I used to dance in my room to the Millennium album, um, and everybody when I went on. Everybody. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And when I went on the Disney cruise, um, I was shocked to hear that uh, both Aaron and Nick Carter were on the boat. Um, did I cream my pants? No, I couldn't at that time. I wasn't able to cream my pants until I had puberty at 15. But Nick Carter, one afternoon, came out onto the basketball court. He did not shake hands, give hugs, or sign autographs to the little children. He had his goons scurry us all off the court so he could play with his boys. We were deprived of that afternoon's festivities on the court so that Nick could shoot hoops with his fat boys and drink champagne. Did I cry? I don't know, but I'll never see the Backstreet Boys ever. Oh, wow. I I fucking hate the Carters. Aaron is an absolute train wreck. Uh, They are my sixth and seventh favorite Carters. Uh, It's heartbreaking for me because I gave Aaron Carter guitar lessons in 1997 for about a month. He was doing a Christmas record here in Hollywood. And this cute little blonde boy, a blonde haired boy with, it was long hair. And he was, he had, he was opening up for his brother's band. And I was crazy. I had no idea the credentials. And then I forgot about him. And years later, I'm hearing he's playing like arenas and shit. Yeah, because he he beat Shaq in a one-on-one game of basketball. It launched his career. Yeah, exactly. And I bet Pat was the one who told him to get all those face tattoos when he grew up. (laughs) Can I do, uh, I'm going to debut a new segment here. I'm going to debut a new segment, which I think is going to be very popular on this, uh, this show. Are you guys ready for it? Yes. I tease it at the top. The new segment is called, Wow, that's interesting. Does have this, I love I love how broad this segment is. We can really get into a lot of stuff here. Okay, all right. So this is like stuff that you probably uh, didn't know, didn't think about, but when I break it down, you're gonna go, wow, that's, that's interesting. interesting. 